hello friends welcome to our channel and today's our topic is how we can distinguish vlookup and hlookup so here you can see the data uh, in the cells and here you can see the different functions now you can see the vlookup uh, cells in which we will use basically vlookup function uses the vertical lines search so now we use the vlookup functions first we have to select the functions and here in this we use vlookup cell now a box will appear in the box we have to fill the data like first it says which value you want to look up so we have to give him the cell so we just give it the cell now it says table array so we just select all the table from which we want to extract the data so we have select the table and here you can see the title of the table and now it says the column so we want the employee name and it is given in the first and second so we just write here two and in the last we just use zero for the exact value now i just press click so here you can see it says nothing available so i have to write the employee id so it gives me the value like if i just write here 1001 so here you can see it gives me a smith because in the second column is a smith if i just write here 1004 so it gives me michael because in the employee id 4 michael is available now if i just write 1003 it gives me david now uh, if I changes any value so it gives me the change now if I want the performance grade so here you can see the performance grade is in column number 3 so I have to just change slide and in right here 3 so here you can see it gives me the grade instead of the name of the employee so if I just changes here like if I just write 1004 so it gives me 82 and I just press here so you can see 82 because I have selected the uh, column number 3 if I make another change so you can see the reflection as well this is the vertical column sections and if I just uh, extract the table so you can see if I just write here 2 so you can see the changes here like John because John in the uh, column number 2 and if I just change the column from 2 to uh, 3 so you can see the different changes like if I just write here 3 so you can see the 67 because in 1002 third column is 67 so this is how the view curve function works and you can make the amendment in it now we turn to our actual lookup function in the same way we just uh, select the cell in which we want the value and select the table in the table we just write our actual lookup and select the same data like first it says which value now it says extract the table so i just extract the table now it says which reference raw so we want the raw 2 so for the simplicity i just write here 2 and in the last i just write here zero so you can see the changes as well like uh, in the horizontal we just write here from the uh, in the edge lookup we just uses the horizontal data so you can see it says nothing available so if i just write here employee name so it gives me smith because smith in the raw number two that's why we use it like if i just write here employee grid so it gives me nothing available because i just write here the uh, different title now if i just write here employee name so it gives me smith because it will search the exact data now if i change it slightly like i just write here three so you can see it gives me john instead of smith if i just change this further like first if i just use three so you can see it gives me john because john in the third row of employee name if i want the david so i just write here for for the david and if i just make the changes like performance grade if i just write here the performance grade so you can see here in the fourth cell it is 74 in the fourth row and if i just make further changes like if i just write here performance id 
just I uh, copy or I just write your performance ID so it gives me one double zero three because in the raw four it's one double three if I just want to extract and here you can see if I just select the ender like if I want the employee ID and in the employee ID here you can see in the fourth row it's one double zero three and if I just make some changes in it like five so you can see here in the fifth fifth row it's one double zero four and if I want like if I make further changes like true so you can see in the true of employee ID it is one double zero one and here it's the reflection and now if I just write three so you can see one double zero three and if I just write here for one double zero three and employ ID function and if I just write here employ name so you can change or you can find the David in the cell four because I just write here uh, four in the raw number fourth of the employee and here you can see the john if make i make some changes in it now another function like here you can see the data is available in the cell and that's why it gives the value now for suppose if i just delete the data or suppose if i just delete the will come uh, cell so it gives me nothing available and what we have to do we want uh, to eliminate the error like if i just write something it gives me the value and if i just uh, don't write anything it gives me nothing else so what we have to do we have to just go here and write here if error bracket open and in the last comma and two inverted commas and then close bracket so it means if error gives value and if there's nothing value uh, it gives empty space so here you can see the empty space so if i just write your anything so in the cell it gives me value and if i just uh, did it empty so it gives me nothing in the same way we use the function here first we write here if error bracket open then comma inverted comma again inverted comma and close bracket if error means it if there's value available give me value if not then just make it empty so here you can see it gives empty now if i just write here any value here or if if i just write here any data like performance grade so it gives me the value which is 67 in the raw number three and if i just write a relocal function it gives me column number three thank you